So, this is my 12 inch Butler shaping machine. I first got to know this machine back in 1978, and it was sitting outside in a small engineering works in Huntingdon near Cambridge. By the time I persuaded the man to sell it to me, which was at the end of 1980, it had stood outside for a further two years. So just about everything on it was completely locked solid. Um, fortunately, it came apart without too much trouble. You can see the sort of rem remaining evidence of rust on all the handles, but even so, it's, it's um, still a very nice machine. And I like to keep the history on it. Um, now, the clutch, which I'm just pointing out to you, is um, Butler Machine Tool Company bought the clutches from a firm called Taylor's near Manchester, and that's a ring clutch, cast iron expanding ring clutch. And it's never given any trouble. And I've been using the machine for about 22 years now. Um, before I started using the machine, it stood outside under a piece of tarpaulin, and the bits it was all, it was all over the place. So it was a nice thing to get it back together. Um, I've got another some bearing caps for a steam engine, which I've just about finished. I just have to machine these spaces to get the right depth of the step, and that's um, the sort of work I do on it. Um, it's all together a beautiful machine. Um, you can just see by the, all the little sort of knobs and widgets on it. It's a lovely thing, work of art really. Um, the vice, as, as you probably find your other shaper owners, that whenever you pick up an old machine, an old shaper, the vice is almost or usually missing. And in this case it was missing too. And it's a, this is an Elliott shaping machine vice, which I meant to fix it very nicely. And the Elliott vice is actually, in my opinion, as good as any that you'll find. So I'll start the machine up now and just take some couple of cuts to show you how it works. And I think you'll agree it's a very nice machine. It's noisy in the gears because it's done a great deal of work.